Hello. Hi, this is Darvin Schlong. I was looking to speak with Christine. Uh, yes, this is Christine. Hi, Christine. Your friend Alexa told me to give you a call about a job opening that you had in medical sales. Oh, great. Hi. Uh, yeah. What did you say your name was again? Darvin Schlong. Darvin. Hi, Darvin. Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. I was uh, calling because I have some experience in medical sales and would love to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm very interested. That's great. I'm looking for people who have experience. You'd be surprised. A lot of people say they have experience in sales, and I've just had a lot of trouble, so I'd love to hear. Awesome. Well, a little bit about me. I'm a hard worker, and I can be a bit of a misodoctaculist. Gosh, I'm sorry. I don't know what that, what that means. What does that mean? A misodoctaculist? No, I don't, I, I don't know that. I'm not familiar with that term. Can you uh, tell me what, what that means? You don't know what a misodoctaculist means? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> wow, that's surprising. Um, it's somebody who doesn't like practicing piano. So I don't, not a big fan. Mm. I mean, I'm good at piano. I just don't like to practice. Right. I didn't know there was a word for that. Okay, well, that's not really relevant for us. So, um, Oh, well, I was just you know, telling you a little bit about myself. Okay, great. And um, can you tell me a little, a little more about your sales experience? You said you've worked in medical sales? Yes, I've been in the business for about nine years, working with a few different companies. And before right. that, I was a dendrophilius. Oh, um, excuse me, is that a company? Because I'm not familiar with it. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? No, could you, sorry, could you say the name of the company again? <laughs> it's not a company. You don't know what dendrophilius means, do you? I don't. I'm, I do not, no. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. It means loving trees enough to live in them. You didn't know that. No, I did not. Um, <laughs> I've really never heard of that. Wow. I had no idea that I had to really dumb down the conversation here, but I guess I have to. Excuse me, what did you just say? Well, I just said, obviously, you're having a hard time understanding my vocabulary, so... No, 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 to... no, no. No, you said something else. Could you please repeat what you said to me? I said I'd need to probably dumb down this conversation because huh. you're not really understanding the words that I use. <laughs> I think words you're that most people You're using obscure know. words, Darvin. You're <laughs> using very obscure words, and this is a well, job interview. Well, I think most people know those words. <laughs> No, they don't, Darvin. No one knows those words. Listen, it's not like I'm being a coprolalomaniac or anything. I'm just using words that I think everybody You know what? Know. I don't know what you're talking about, and now you're just wasting my time. Oh, come on. You don't know what a coprolalomaniac is? No, I do not. And you know what? Frankly, I don't care, okay? And so if this is all you have to say to me, then I'm done here, all right? You and your flossinost and hillopilification of my past experience is really rude, okay. I think. All right. You know what? I am done. I am done with you and your stupid made-up words. You're just making up words now. I don't know. Well, that is not a fake word. That's a real word. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It means to deem something worthless, kind of like this phone call, because it's a prank phone call. No. What? Yeah, this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you. Your friend Alexa set you up. What? It's... This is a prank? Yes, I'm sorry I don't have any big words for prank. I didn't Google those. But yes, it's a prank oh. phone call. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she told me that you've been interviewing all types of weirdos for the job and wanted me to mess with you. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't believe that you don't know what a misodoctacleidist is. <laughs> You're right. Everyone should know what a misodoctacleidist <laughs> Doc uh, Excuse me, Christine. It's a misodoctacleidist. <laughs>